when it comes to golf, we all know that Scotland is its home. And that means that we're blessed with some of the best courses in the world. So with there being so many to play, you would be forgiven to struggle to pick the best holes you could play in Scotland. But in today's video, we might just have a contender that could be up there with the very best closing holes in the whole of Scotland. So let's get right into today's video and play what we think could be the four best closing holes in this country. Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Aaron, some call me Azzy, many call me the bear and I'm a three handicap golfer. As we mentioned earlier, today we're looking at what could potentially be considered as a contender for the best closing stretch of holes in Scotland. But where are we and what are we actually doing in this video? So let's find out. Today we are down at Murray Golf Club. Now for anyone that has watched the channel before you might think this is a little biased but hear us out, let us prove this to you. The final four holes here at Murray Golf Club on the old course present all sorts of challenges to every level of golfer. We have to start the 15th a short par 3 followed by a short par 4 the 16th next up's a par 5 and we finish with one of if not the best closing hole in Scotland the 18th Murray Golf Club's signature hole. So what we're going to do in this video today is we're going to play these four holes in a match. It is going to be myself against a very similarly matched golfer. A man that needs no introduction. It is the man, the myth, the legend, the beefcake, Scott Crawford. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you. Ready for the match, ready to go. First time playing solo without a teammate, but I'm up for the challenge. Beautiful. Let's get straight into this video and start here at the 15th hole. Right, Scotty, where are we at to start? First hole is the 15th. It's a nice little par three, playing 174 yards. There's three bunkers on the front right side of the green. Guarded quite well, grassy hollow just after on the right side as well. On the left side is the good miss, quite clear on the left, a little bit of landing lights, little hill, it will kick in from there. Good miss is short left. That's sensational from you, one take wonder as well. We are playing into not the prevailing wind tonight, it's the wind interface, so that's going to prevent a little bit more of a challenge to us. And after that take for the beef kick, I'm saying let's just get Scotty Crawford on the channel full time because that was beautiful. Me versus you, two three handicap golfers on our home course. Some of the best holes in all of golf. Let's do it. Let's go. Play well, young man. Yes, you too. All the best. Now, I believe you said left was a good miss. <laughs> Not quite that far left. Beefcake, I think this could be a good match. Hopefully, this is the highest quality match we've had on the channel. Oh, it's going to be a battle of the up and down. This could make me look very, very silly. Set, set. A knee knocker. Landing lights beside the green for the RAF. One of the most unique and memorable things about a trip to Murray Golf Club. Oh, maybe. There's the app. Oh, oh. Do you not beef? I'll give you that. Good you. par, good par. I said short left was the miss. <laughs> In a man that knows this course. A tester to start, up a hill. Give it a run. Get there, get there, get there. You pussy! Great hole though, great hole though, enjoyed it. In fact, one of the best four holes I've ever played. Mr Crawford wins the first hole, level par and one up. Beefcake, 16th tee. Talk us through. So, here we have. 358 yard par 4. This one with the downwind is very tempting however there's two bunkers on the right hand side, a bunker on the left for the fairway for the tee shot and the green there is two bunkers on the right side and three bunkers on the left a big dip in the middle of the green it's also it's a it's an easy par 4 but it has a bite. Lovely another one take wonder. <laughs> Fun fact about this hole Scott Lorimer stood up here in a baked out summer condition with a hybrid and hit the green. Not so fun fact and an absolute lie is that he stood up on this tee and claims to this day that he had hybrid in hand expecting to hit the green. And here you see after that fun fact Scott Crawford standing driver in hand not expecting to hit green. Edge of the bunker isn't it? Yeah I think 
Edge of the bunker. Possibly put the bunker. After a bogey start, I'm going to need to maybe liven up a bit here. Oh, it's a bit right. Shot. Now, as we said at the start of the video, there will be better closing stretches in Scotland in other people's opinions. We want to hear those opinions in the comments. Let us know exactly where you think in Scotland and potentially the UK has a better closing four holes. One of the reasons that this hole is so challenging is some of the lies you can get if you're off the fairway, but that green screams birdie chance. It all dips in to a little hollow where I think the pin might be positioned today. Not only is it a birdie chance, but it's very well guarded. We've got 120 in hand, into the wind, we're going to hit a smooth wedge. Oh, it a wee bit and pulled a bit left, but... It's in that hollow, I think. It's in the hollow. A chance. Beef, after a beautiful drive, has just the 77 yards in. 77. Little flick with a wedge, birdie chance. Yep. Could really put your foot on my throat in this game. Oh, baby. It's a bit long. You found the top shelf. Look at the surprise on his face. Caught a bit too pure. I don't know what's happened. So as you can see, one of the reasons that this hole is so fun, is so challenging, but yet treacherously tempting. That's just went from one putt to three putts so very quickly. This is a very tough putt. POV, you are my golf ball. You need to be about 15 yards left of the hole to get anywhere near it. I'll be delighted with two putts here, Scott. Oh, settle, settle, settle. Delighted with two putts here, Scott. I think that's good enough for a gimme. A good two putt from that distance. Thanking you, thanking you all. Piled the pressure on those beefy shoulders right there with a, light, a delightful little two putt. This is one that you can get a bit greedy and regret it very quickly. And you're speaking to two men that know exactly how to be very greedy. Very what a backdrop that is, but beefy, have you, have you just, oh no, it's a wee bit, a wee bit, ooh, a wee bit of testy. Could have done with a little bit more pace. Just like Limpy on a Saturday night. Nothing but hole. Let's see you do it. Aww. Never turned, it never turned. That's a gimme, pick it up. I'm just trying to make this interesting, that's why I missed Yeah, it. we're making sure we're getting doing that signature hole 18. We are here at the picturesque background of the 17th. Talk them through it, Beef. You've done so very well so far. Here we go. 17, par 5, 509 yards. As Owens mentioned, the prevailing wind is normally in our backs, meaning this hole gives opportunities for birdies and eagles. Although birdies can quickly turn to bogeys if you're not careful. Book by Beef. <laughs> this hole, the tee shot is, I would say, not so much demand, and it's quite easy. There's a lot of room both sides. However, when you get to the second shot, you're faced with bunkers. Bunkers? Bunkers. Two holes left. Par five, birdie chance. Both one over. Beefcake, let's keep this interesting. Oh, and yes he does, that is creamed. That's a beefy masterclass. Part of the attraction of these four holes is just how many birdie chances you think you have, which turn to bogeys very quickly. Let's see if we can keep it in play. I think that's delightful, B. It looks very good. In a challenging wind tonight, and slightly chilly here. Actually, you would think it's fucking March, it's actually May. I would D say normally this angle is very inviting to take the green on if I was, say, 50 yards further up. <laughs> Unfortunately, However, you're not. not. Go! Oh, that's jumping. That, that could work. It could, could be in bunker trouble, I think. Could be a very, very bad shot. Maybe shouldn't have hit the three wood. You can see a man with a lot on his mind. It's getting to the business end of this evening. We're both one over. We're all square in our match. We're looking for a birdie here. He's going for a 52. Well, if you're never up, how can you be in? Wow. Adam's got a nice little three wood. We're not sure what it is. I'm going to predict sand. Oh, but we'll see. Let's see if I can't put one in tight and put the pressure on. If there's one thing I know, Beef, you love putting one in tight. Oh, baby. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? 
I mean, it's not the tightest. Mm. But, nah. you've, but you've got a chance. There's a chance. There is a chance with no pressure on. Good news, we're up at Greenside. We found the ball. Bad news. We've got the bucket and spade out. It's in the Greenside bunker. Go. Go. Not bad. I'll take a few putts from here, I think. Take your par. Take your chance up 18. The signature hole. Go. Oh, beef. Beefy. For the par. For pace of play. Simple as that. The big man, the bear. Here we go. Decent chance here for birdie. Can he handle the pressure? That's the question. As I'm sure you all predicted, he can't. <laughs> all square, both one over, going up the signature hole at Murray. 18, par 4, 408 yards. This is a very tricky closing hole. But a picturesque one at that. <sighs> Down the left side. Again, we have quite a few bunkers. But I would rather be in a bunker than in a bedroom. Because on the right hand side, <laughs> we have houses and a hotel. A little bank on the right hand side for a bit of room, but still not nice to be chipping from. Towards the bunkers. OB on the left, towards OB, towards bunkers. It's difficult. However, you find the right tee shot, it's easy enough to come in from the fairway. Oh, he's gone safety left. Safety left. Beef, we find you here. Just off the fairway. Not your best, but not your worst. 170 left in. Talk me through it. Quite a tough shot from here. Into the breeze, up the hill. The trouble is all on the left side. I want to go to the right, hopefully it draws in a little bit, but left, I'm finished. Game over. Left is bogey, right is birdie. Correct. Beef, somewhere in the middle. Show us what you've got, big man. A tad left, but it should be okay. We're 155, we've got a 7 iron in the wind and slightly up the hill. Again, we're missing right if we're missing anywhere. Okay troops, as we approach the green here, we've got two chances at birdie. Scott is just off the green. I think I might have snuck on. We're not saying that this is definitely the best closing holes, but in our opinion, it might be slightly biased. It's certainly a contender. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see us do more videos like this, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And of course, let us know where you think has a better finishing stretch than here. What we've done, I've got Beefcake to demonstrate why you don't want to go left. He's thrown a ball into Hell's Bunker as it's known here, and he's going to show you just how tough it is to get out. <laughs> and that's what can happen if you were to be in Hell's. Now let's go and finish this video. Beef's actual ball, ball in play, very lucky here. Extreme lucky, I think I'm just a couple of rolls away from being dead. Also a couple of rolls away for being a bakery. A tough up and down, but an up and down chance nonetheless to stay one over for your evening. And that looks pretty damn good to me. In fact, Beef, I'll just confirm, but I think it's gimme. Beefcake finishes his day one over par, a valiant effort, but let's see if I can beat you. This, to go back to level and win the match. Jimmy. We both finish one over, we finish all square here on what we think potentially is contenders for the best closing stretch of holes in Scotland. Let's round this video off. Thanks very much for watching the video, thanks very much to the Beefcake, a valiant opponent today. If you've enjoyed this video, why not consider watching some of the other ones we've got and we'll see you next time.